Hello everybody, in this video we'll be testing GitHub Copilot which is an AI pair programmer so that you can use to get um, some code using ChatGPT that's what I believe it's using so you can use different tools like Visual Studio Code or Visual Studio NeoVim, JetBeans and you can get some programming and code suggestions for Python, JavaScript, TypeScript, Go and Ruby. So at the moment I'm gonna get this for free. Um, a student, so if you're a student or a teacher or open source maintainers you can get this for free. Otherwise there is a trial version you can use. So I'm just gonna access the GitHub Copilot Okay, let's see. Plans and usage. So I'm on the GitHub Pro version. So Copilot, you're eligible to use GitHub Copilot for free. So how do, how do you get it installed or set up? What you, you need to go to is you got to go to getting started with GitHub Copilot. So you can try this. Which brings you to the settings page. You can get access to blah blah blah. You can take it to your code editor. Okay. You then also then you need to go to Visual Visual Studio Code. I'm gonna bring it up. Here we go. And then you've got to go to the marketplace. Where's the marketplace? Extensions. Co search for Copilot. Here we go. Just install it. Now it's installing. So as you can see here, you can receive suggestions. So now at the bottom here you got to sign into GitHub, allow, so I'm just going to sign into GitHub, just got to authorize the application, just going to allow, so reopen the Visual Studio Code, open it, and it looks like it's done. So let's try this. Let's go to create a new file. So let's create a new file, file, new text file, select a language. Okay, I'm just going to use, let's see, PHP. I'm going to put a syntax here. Create a table with three fields. ID, name and age, yes. And see how it's got here? It's got the actual syntax you can use to create the table with the three different fields. That up again. Oh, so you tab it when you have that code available. You just tab it, and it will create it. And then let's see. Uh, create a text field for user to enter the name and age. Age. Okay, so you just gotta press enter. Oh, enter. So, okay, yep, so that's to enter your name, enter the age, insert the name into the table. Oh, yeah, I wanna do that as well. So you press tab, press tab. 
and there we go the, this one here normally if it's in um, PHP you would have the semicolon at the end so I'm not sure whether this is gonna work but but that gives you an idea of what you can use copilot for let's see if we run that yes it's got a syntax error yeah because it's not written in PHP so let's try this create a PHP code to create a table with three fields ID name and age oh, oh I just then remember to hit tab so that's the same thing create a few to enter yes okay so this is better so this says the syntax yes insert the name yes okay but it looks like this is doesn't look right see execute doesn't look right it looks like it's repeating what I have up here so that's no good this gives you an idea of what you can use it for for github copilot it makes writing code a lot easier and quicker and if you are a student teacher or open source developer that is a contributor to github then you can get this copilot for free hope this video helped you in some way if you did please give a like and subscribe to the channel